today is May 20th, 2008, nine. Oh, my, 2009. And I wish we could go back a year, but no, I don't. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. And, again, uh, you're listening to Financial Survival. I'm Melody Cedarstrom, and this program is brought to you by Discount Gold and Silver Trading, 1-800-375-4188. That's 1-800-375-4188. Visit our website at discountgoldandsilvertrading.net. That is discountgoldandsilvertrading.net. And questions for the program, you can direct those to discountgoldandsilver at yahoo.com. Discount gold and silver at yahoo.com. And a really good day in gold today. Uh, we're pleased to announce today, if you haven't heard, we have gold up 12.90 at 9.38.90. We have silver up 14 pennies at 14.33. And we have platinum up $4 at 11.93. And we have uh, palladium right now looking at uh, down about a dollar at 2.36. So, a lot of things are getting hammered today, particularly the U.S. dollar, and uh, we'll be talking about that in just a little bit. If you have any emails, you can email us for the program, discountgoldensilver at yahoo.com, discountgoldensilver at yahoo.com. We have Robert Chapman joining us this afternoon from the International Forecaster, and uh, he does uh, appear here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and we do thank him very much. Good afternoon, Bob. Good afternoon again. We just saw the stock market uh, hammered for about 100 points in the last half hour. It's a minus 53 or so right now at 84.22. Um, I think part of this has got to do with closing out positions. I think people are leaving early to make it a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Uh, weekend. Uh, I think you're seeing some of that. And um, I, I think that's borne out, too, by uh, the volume on uh, my email. Uh, emails coming in is relatively light, half of what I would normally get. And uh, the articles and research that we go into um, is starting to fade, so I, I think that holiday has something to do with it. Um, oil is up got dollar seventy again, and uh, I, I, I'll give you gasoline when I see it. Uh, early this morning, it was um, it was um, one eighty four a gallon, and uh, three days ago it was one sixty nine. Uh, silver's up 15 cents, gold's up 11.60 in the June month. Uh, S&P is up the equivalent of 52 Dow, down, down the equivalent 52 Dow points. A uh, natural gas is four dollars, up a penny. And um, I'm looking for gasoline here because <laughs> you know you, you, you're out there driving. Um, I think gasoline next week will be up 20 cents a gallon at the pump uh, because it's gone up 20 cents here. It usually takes two weeks for it to get through the system. Gasoline, 181, and uh, let's see what we're looking at this morning. 184, so it was up about two cents on the day. Um, I think the uh, USDX is, what, off a dollar or so? Uh, yes, it was. It's uh, 1.05. Uh, Let me get back to my screen here. And it was just about ready to break the uh, uh, 1.05 at 80.99. Well, it's already broken support. Head and shoulders formation. I picked it off at 89.50, if you remember. And uh, people who went short on that recommendation, if they did it on margin, they've made a small fortune. And the dollar's really in free fall. Uh, people just don't know it yet, and the media won't talk about it. But that's what's going on. Um, they're still trying to hold gold and silver down, but uh, we'll go into 1,000 here. I think tomorrow is going to be a little bit difficult on gold and silver. Um, 
uh, it'll if it holds it on its own, it'll be good. Uh, Friday the same thing. Uh, the markets will be very thin on Friday, and uh, it, it'll allow those evil people in Washington to have more leeway on the market. But we'll see what they do. I think they got their hands full with the Dow here and the bond market and the falling dollar. So they they might just might just leave it alone. Uh, but we'll wait and see. Um, at halftime. Uh, I'll have the prices on the shares. They were up considerably today. And um, at one time, uh, Agnico Eagle was up over $3. And um, <clears throat> anyway, we'll get into that. Uh, interest rates are hanging about the same. LIBOR for one month is 0.31. And for three months, which is the big month, 0.72%. I mean, they may as well give money away. I mean, that's virtually nothing. And so why why are the LIBOR rates, and that's the, the London Bank interrate, this is the rate that banks lend money to each other. And at the low, it was, it was um, we got a 319 on the 10-year, 319. Earlier today, it was 324. So they must have been busy in, the, in that market trying to keep the yield down. Now I forget what I was talking about. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> uh, the bond market um, is the most important market of all, besides the currency, the U.S. dollar, to these people who run our government from behind the scenes. And... Uh, and so that's why I watch it so closely. Uh, there's uh, an article out today. The Chinese, the Chinese are um, talking about backing the yuan uh, with gold, and it was bound to happen. That means that uh, uh, they're going to ask the IMF for all 3,000 tons. And buy it, and they get rid of dollars, and they get gold. It doesn't get any better. That means all the other nations are going to have to go back on a gold standard. Either that, or the yuan is become is going to become the reserve currency of the world. And I don't like that idea one bit. That's as bad as having uh, a one-world currency. I mean, you know, you got a communist government that that's run by a, a group of people who are butchers. I mean, I, 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 everything in the world is upside down, and um, that is not a good idea. Let me tell you. Um, Will it get done? No, I don't think so. I think other nations are going to start backing, and that's, that's going to take hold up. Um, what what the nations will do is they'll measure inflation since 1980 on an official basis, which will come in, I don't know, somewhere between 2,000 and 2,500, and they'll set it there. And then the market will take gold higher. Here's the only real money, even though other currencies will, will have backing, uh, it'll vary widely. Some will have 5%, some will have 28%. I mean, even with another 3,000 tons, the Chinese will only have 2%. Uh, do they want to have five or ten? I think so. Where's the gold going to come from? It ain't going to come from other central banks, I'll tell you that. So it's got to come out of the market. And that means higher prices. You know, th these developments are very, very, very strong on a long-term basis. And that's really all we want to look at here. We do, quote, short-term things here. But... They're transitory. We we don't encourage people to trade on them or anything else. You know, the trend is your friend and you're flowing with it. So like all these people, when recently we had uh, Agnico down to 45 bleating uh, about their, their stock being down. Ridiculous. You know, stop watching. I mean, will they be banging on my door to telling me what a genius I am because the stock's 56, 57 today? 
I don't think so. So, you know, the, the attitude I have is, you've been told what to do, do it. And it's proven to be right. You buy your coins, you buy your shares, and you sit on them until we tell you to get out of them, if ever. <laughs> 